Hey, it's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to learn about the History Brush. Now, the History Brush isn't one of the most popular tools in Photoshop. You don't hear about it very often. But I'm going to show you how to use it for retouching. It is great for going in and softening skin a little bit in portraits. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not too difficult. I think you're going to enjoy it. So, if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so first a little bit about the history brush. You can find the history brush over here uh, by this little, it's the brush with the uh, little arrow looping around it, and Y is the hotkey for that, and you've got a history brush. You want to make sure you don't confuse it with the art history brush. We're just working with the history brush today. So the way the history brush is originally designed is basically We've got an image here. We're in our history palette, which, by the way, if you don't have that, you come up here to Windows, History, and make sure that's checked. But we're going to come down here and hit this little camera, and what we've done is basically taken a picture, a snapshot, as you can see right here. So then what we can do is we can do whatever we want to this image. We can go ahead and adjust the levels. We'll make it um, way too light. We'll go um, Hue Saturation, and we will bring the saturation way down. We can even uh, go under Blur, Gaussian Blur, soften it a little bit, whatever we want to do, like that. So we've kind of wrecked this image. However, it's all still sitting here in this snapshot, so all we have to do is select this as our source, choose the History Brush. I've got it here at 100%. And we can basically paint back in what was there originally. And obviously tons of different uses for how you might want to uh, to use this. But eventually you could paint her all the way back and you'd have everything right there. There's other ways of doing this that work much better. But it is kind of a fail-safe that you've got the original image sitting over there as a snapshot. So now that we understand basically what the History Brush is doing, I'm going to show you a way that you can use it to retouch an image. Okay, so now that we have an understanding of basically what the tool does, I'm going to show you how we can use it to do a little bit of retouching, basically soften the skin. You know, in an image like this, we're getting an awful lot of detail here. We're starting to see pores some little blemishes kind of along here, through here. Most women are going to prefer to have that skin softened a little bit where you don't see so much detail. We're also getting a little bit of shine and a little too much detail down here. So we're going to fix kind of all of these things at once using the history brush. First thing we want to do is make a copy of our layer. Dragging that down there. We will double click on that and call it soften. So we're working on a different layer, and we've still got our original sitting there. First thing we want to do, come up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And what I'm going to do is drag this across until I've lost all this detail. All the uh, little blemishes and things are gone. And in this case, it's going to be somewhere in the 40s. I'm at about, about 40 pixels. Yours may be higher or lower. But as you can see here, it's, it's gone completely smooth. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to go just even a tiny bit. Let's go 44. Hit OK. I know what you're saying, Larry. This looks worse than the original image. Don't worry. We're going to fix that. Next up, we're going to come over here, hit O, and select the Dodge tool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm set to mid-tones, 15%. I'm going to come in, and I'm going to basically dodge certain areas of the face. I know what you're saying, Larry, you can't just dodge right on the image like that. I know, I know. Trust me, it's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dodge the forehead, down the nose, both cheeks, and the chin. Kind of like that. So i got the chin, cheeks, forehead, nose. If I know this is a little too bright and I want to darken it, I can go ahead while I'm here, switch to the burn tool. I know, I know, it looks terrible. The neck a tiny bit. There we go. Now, it looks much worse by anybody's standard, but don't worry. Here's what we're going to do. Is we are going to come into the history brush, and instead of using the history brush to bring back the original image like we did in the last one, 
we're going to create a snapshot of this mucked up image and start bringing it back into the original. We're kind of doing the same technique but in reverse. So first thing I want to do is take a snapshot by clicking the little camera. As we can see up here, it's done a snapshot of this blurred, dodged image. I'm going to set that as my source, just like that, and then I'm going to come back up here to the last thing we did before the blur, which was change the name of that layer. All right, so now it's like we've gone back in time to the point where we had just changed this to soften. Image looks just like it did, but we've got the snapshot we're working from. So I'm going to come over here to the history brush. I'm at normal 15% opacity. Again, using my brackets to size it, I'm going to just start painting over the skin and areas that I want to soften. I obviously don't want to go over the eyes or areas that I want to keep sharp. Mostly focusing on these areas. You gotta be careful around the lips and nose. So I've kind of hit everything once. I'm gonna go here a couple more times till I've softened that. Soften that to match. Maybe a touch up here by the eyes. All right. Good, good, good. A little bigger. Go down here. The chest and neck, which is not only softening, but also darkening it just a touch because we had dodged over that. Okay, so there we go. And if we look at the before and after up here, turn this off. There's the before, there's the after. So it's given her a little bit of a glow, definitely softened out the skin. There's the before, after. Now what it can do is it can flatten things a little bit. And so while she does have a little bit of a, a nice little glow to her and the skin looks softer, you would probably want to come back in uh, to dodge and burn using a gray layer or whatever your technique is for dodging and burning to bring back a little more of the sculpting of the face because a byproduct of this is it will flatten things out a bit. But overall, we've really softened the skin and uh, the beauty of having it here on its own layer is if we do this, the next day we come back and look at it and we go, oh man, I went too far on this. Uh, she, she looks like a doll now or something. Well, it's very easy. We just come here to the opacity, drop that down a little bit, and it's a much less noticeable effect. So that kind of gives you some options of adjusting it afterwards. Just kind of a quick way to overall soften the skin and add just a little more nice softness to the face and really works well as something to have in your workflow for a quick little thing to do to a headshot like this. So what did you think about retouching with the history brush? It's pretty easy to do and you can get some really nice results. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you've tried this before, if you think it might work with your workflow. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and otherwise, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the little bell so you know when we have more content coming out. That's it for this week. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.